Welcome to today's chair practice. So find your favorite yoga chair, something that doesn't have arms so you can move freely. And then let's just start out. Find a spot where you can sit and feel solid and stable through your hips. Maybe your feet can be flat on the floor. And then bring one hand to your belly and the other hand to your chest. And just close your eyes. Take a breath or two here. Recognize that you are in this place, that you've taken this time just to take care of yourself today, just to focus in and listen to your body. And find an easy breath in and out. If you can, maybe breathe through your nose. If that's not an option, just breathe however it feels easy. And then bring your hands to your legs. We're going to start with a little very focused breathing movement. What I want you to do is reach your hands out towards your kneecaps to start. You're going to round your back here, looking for that little stretch between your shoulder blades. On your inhale, drag your hands down the outsides of your legs towards your hips. And then when you exhale, bring your hands down the insides of your legs towards your knees. So inhale, sitting up tall, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Exhale, rounding your back, feeling that stretch between your shoulder blades. Just find that rhythm. Maybe feel that little bit of heat, that little bit of movement through your hands and your legs. Now you can make this a little faster, a little stronger. So nice, strong exhale. Nice, strong inhale. Do this a couple more times. I'm going to speed up just a tiny bit. Again, the idea here is to create some heat. Maybe one more. And then after your next exhale, go ahead and sit up tall. Maybe roll your shoulders a little bit and maybe just feel that breath, the effect of that very strong breath. All right, now bring your arms down by your sides. We're gonna start with a little wrist rotation. So go ahead and curl your hands into fists here. They can be loose fists. And then just take your wrists around in circles. Go slow, maybe listen to all the clicking and the clacking. See if you can go both directions with those wrist rotations. And then shake out your hands. You can wiggle your fingers a little bit. Now you're gonna press out through your palms here just so you get that little stretch across your palms, your forearms. And then point both thumbs towards your legs. This is gonna be our starting spot. On your inhale, Go ahead and rotate those thumbs forward, out to the side and the back, pressing out through your palms the whole way. And then when you exhale, return to the starting spot, thumbs towards your legs. So inhale, rotating out to the sides and back, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Exhale, return to the starting spot. I'm gonna invite you to do a couple more, just like that. Pressing out through your palms the entire time. Maybe one more. And then relax your arms. You can shake out your wrists, maybe wiggle your fingers again. Now we're going to keep the arms down by your sides, pressing out through your palms to start. What I want you to do is just go the opposite direction. So you're stretching the outsides of your wrists, bringing the tips of your fingers toward each other. And then press out through your palms, spreading those fingers wide. So on both sides, bringing the points of your fingers together and then pressing out through your palms. Just do this a couple more times. Feel that little movement through your wrists, your hands, even your fingers are working here. And then you can relax, maybe shake out those hands and roll your shoulders a little bit. All right, so hopefully you get a little circulation, a little movement through your wrists. We're gonna do one more kind of wrist focus one. This time you're gonna reach your arms out in front of you, kind of like you're saying stop. Your elbows do not have to be locked. And just find a spot where your shoulders feel okay because your arms are gonna be out here for a minute. So just like that same hand movement we did, we're gonna start with the pressing out through the palms, spread, fingers spread wide, and then curl your hands so that the tips of your fingers are coming together and then spread your fingers wide. Just go back and forth a couple of times, feeling that little bit of action. Let's do one more. 
Now, if you can, press out through your palms. Again, you can bend your elbows, let your shoulders relax a little bit. You're going to press out through the palms the entire time for this next movement. You're going to rotate your fingers away from each other so your thumbs go toward the ceiling and then out to the sides. And then rotate your thumbs toward the ceiling, toward each other, and then toward the floor just as far as you can. All right, do this a few times, breathing. It might be a little intense. A little intensity is okay. Ripping, tearing, shooting, cramping pain, still too far. If you can, maybe one more. Rotating in and then rotating out. And then you're going to relax your arms. Maybe shake those hands out. Rotate your wrists again and feel all that work from your forearms down to your wrists, down to your fingers. So hopefully that's got some circulation in there for you. <clears throat> that was definitely the goal. Now I want you to reach back and hold the back, the seat of your chair as far back as you can. What we're gonna do is a little movement of the spine here, just holding the seat of your chair. So on your inhale, you're gonna lift through your chest, squeezing those shoulder blades together. And then when you exhale, round your back, relax your shoulders. So on your inhale, you feel the stretch across your chest. You can even lift your chin if you like. And then when you exhale, round your back. You can squeeze those shoulders towards your ears. Do this a couple more times. Just be gentle with yourself. This is an easy movement to overdo. So don't try and overdo. Just find the space. Now on your next exhale, if you can, bring your hands towards your legs. Walk your hands down your legs. Only go as far as it feels useful. Find that even stretch across your back. And then if you can't, stay folding forward. We're going to bring both hands to the outside of your right leg. Maybe let your nose drop toward that right knee. You can even reach out through your left fingertips a little bit more. Just getting that little extra stretch behind your left shoulder blade. Don't forget to breathe here. Now bring your hands back to the center and then over to your other leg. Letting your nose drop toward that left knee. You can reach out through your right fingertips just a tiny bit more. Stretch them behind your right shoulder blade. Breathe in easy. And then come back. Now slowly, slowly. Sit all the way up. Take your time. If the room is spinning wildly for you, give yourself a minute. Maybe roll your shoulders a little bit. Just feel that shift in the gravity. All right. So now... <laughs> We're going to use both arms at the same time. Bring both hands to your belly. On your inhale, just open your hands wide. Keep your elbows in towards your body. Just opening those hands wide, squeezing your shoulder blades together behind your back. And then when you exhale, return to the starting spot, pulling that belly button in. We're really focusing on the points of your shoulder blades. Imagine you're bringing the points of your shoulder blades together and down. And then exhale, relax. I'm going to invite you to do two more. You go at your speed, though. Just feel that little action around your shoulder blades. Maybe one more. After your next exhale, let your arms relax. Maybe roll those shoulders. Feel the effect of that little bit of movement. All right. Now you're going to bring your hands together. And then see if you can bring your elbows all the way together. Even if you need to lift your hands, that's okay. So the goal here is when we inhale, you're going to keep those elbows bent, opening wide, really push your chest forward. Think about bringing those shoulder blades together again. And then when you exhale, round your back, bring your elbows, your palms together. So I'm going to give you the side view. Inhale, opening wide, pushing your chest forward. And then when you exhale, try and frame that stretch between your shoulder blades. Do this a couple more times. Go at your speed. Try and keep your shoulders down from your ears so you're not lifting your shoulders as you do this. All right, after your next exhale, let those arms relax. Maybe roll your shoulders a little bit. Feel the effect of that movement, right? we got one more shoulder blade-focused movement. This time you're going to bring your hands to the top of your head. Tuck your chin. We're looking for that stretch at the back of your neck. So as you, your hands stay on the top of your head, think about bringing those elbows together again. This is our starting spot. When you inhale, arms are going to come down to your sides, reaching back toward the back of your chair, lift through your chest, your chin. You want to get that stretch along your throat. And then when you exhale, return to the starting spot. Think about getting those elbows together. 
So inhale, reaching down and back, reaching through your fingertips, almost like you're gonna to touch the floor. So reach that direction. Exhale, hands to the top of your head, elbows toward each other, find the stretch between your shoulder blades. See if you can repeat this a couple more times, just feeling your neck, the tops of your shoulders working here. Elbows come together when you bring your hands to your head. I'm gonna do one more. And then let your arms relax down to your sides. Roll those shoulders again. Ooh, feel the difference. Feel that action. All right, good news. We're going to let the shoulders, the neck relax a little bit. We're going to focus on the glutes. Now, for this one, you can use your hands and your butt cheeks. They can work together. All we're going to do is as you inhale, the entire time you inhale, you're clenching both butt cheeks, curling both hands into fists. The entire time you exhale, relax. It's all about control here. So inhale, clenching everything. Exhale, relaxing everything. See if you can do a couple more. You don't have to use 110% of your strength, but you can here. Now the next time you're clenching everything, keep clenching, keep breathing. See if you can just relax that right butt cheek, relax your right hand, left side stays strong. Keep breathing, and then you're going to clench everything again. This time, just relax the left side as much as you can. Keep that right side strong, and then you're going to clench everything, and then relax everything at the same time. Feel that release. Maybe wiggle around in your chair. Maybe wiggle your fingers a little bit. Notice the effect of that little bit of effort. All right, so we're going to keep our focus kind of on the hips. We're going to step our way through this so that you have an option at each step. You could maybe stay there or you can make it bigger. So pay attention. Let's start by crossing the right ankle in front of your left ankle. Really pay attention to your knee and your hip. You don't want to feel torque. You don't want to feel stress at the joint. A little bit of effort is okay, but stress is not so good. Okay, maybe you stay here. Maybe you make it a little bit bigger. You can bring your right ankle to your left knee if that feels okay. Again, check in with your knee, check in with your hip. We're going to do a little movement for the hip. Try not to use your hands, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to take that bent knee towards your opposite shoulder. Don't use your hand. And then open your knee out to the side. So crossing over. You're using your hip flexors, those inside muscles of your legs, just a little bit. And then open wide. Again, that butt cheek can wake up. We're going to do two more. Coming in toward the center. And then out toward the side. One more time. In toward the center. And out toward the side. Now, here's the deal. If you can't, keep your legs where they are. You can always back off if you need to. We're going to do a little forward fold here. Now, I really mean little. Your hands can be on your legs. Spine stays tall. You're just going to lean forward maybe a quarter of the way. Just want to feel a little stretch at your hip and then sit up tall. We're going to do it again. A little stretch forward and then sit up tall. Try not to pull with your arms, bend at the hips, and then sit up tall. Maybe one more time. All right. And then sit up tall. Find a spot where that left foot can stay nice and solid onto the floor and stretch your right leg out to the side. You can bend that right knee. You don't have to lock your knee here. We're just going to do a little forward fold in this position. So one leg is straight, one knee is bent. And then imagine you're folding in between your legs. You don't have to go far. You don't have to touch your feet. Just look for a little stretch on the inside muscle of this stretched out leg. All right, now slowly sit all the way up. Take your time. Come back so both feet are flat on the floor and check in with your body. Again, if the room is spinning, give yourself a moment. And then when you're ready, we're going to focus over on this left hip. So remember, we're going to step it up. So start by crossing your left ankle in front of your right. If you automatically brought your knee across or your foot across to your knee, just notice. All right. Now, if you like, you can bring that left ankle to your right knee and check in. Maybe this knee is different. So listen to your body. Spine, oh, before we do the forward fold, I was so excited about it. 
We're going to move this bent knee, no hands. So you're going to bring that bent knee towards your opposite shoulder. It doesn't have to go far. And then open your knee out to the side. So do it again, bringing that knee across. So you're using those inside muscles of your legs just a little bit. And then opening out to the side. If anything starts to cramp, listen to your body. I'm going to have you do it one more time. Bringing that bent knee across to your opposite shoulder. And then opening wide. Now keep your left ankle crossed either at your knee or at your right ankle. Spine stays tall. We're just going to do that little forward fold. The one I was so excited about. So just that little lean forward. Try not to lead with your chin. Lead with your chest. And then sit up tall. So we're looking for that little bit of action through your hips. If you feel it someplace else, that's okay. But just pay attention. I'm going to do two more. Being gentle, not forcing it. Last one. And then sit up tall. Find a spot where that right foot can stay flat on the floor. You're going to stretch your left leg out to the side. That left knee can be bent. You don't have to just drop into it. We're going to do a forward fold. So go forward in between your legs. Just go as far as it feels okay. We want to find a little stretch on the inside of the straight leg. That's really what we're looking for here. If you feel it someplace else, that's all right. And then we're going to sit all the way up. Set both feet flat onto the floor. And then open your feet wide away from each other. Now bring your feet all the way together. We're going to do that again. You're just moving your feet wide and then bringing them all the way together. Let's do one more. It's really just to adjust your hips. And then bring your feet all the way together. And we're going to focus on those hips again. This time opening your knees wide away from each other. Feet stay where they are. And then bring your knees all the way together. If you want to add that little resistance, hands go to the outsides of your legs, pressing just a little bit as you open your knees wide. Let your knees win though. Bring your knees all the way together, giving yourself just that little bit of resistance. So we're balancing the inside muscles and the outside muscles of your legs. I'm going to do one more, opening wide and then bringing your knees together. Now open your feet wide again. Knees are wide. Feet can be flat on the floor. We're going to do one more forward fold here. Arms go down the insides of your legs. And then if you like, gently press your elbows into your legs here. Try and relax your neck. Relax your shoulders. And then slowly sit all the way up. Take your time. As you come up to sitting, find a spot where your legs feel solid and stable for you. Maybe bring one hand to your belly again, the other hand to your chest. And just take a few breaths right here. Notice how your body feels here. Notice the effect of the work that you've done. Maybe give yourself a little pat on the back just for taking this time making this effort to take care of yourself today. Thank you so much for playing. Namaste.